Mats Hummels is one of the greatest centre-backs ever to play in the Bundesliga. Now in his 13th season of top-level football, the defensive icon has won five league titles and several domestic cups during his time with Borussia Dortmund and Bayern München, not to mention the 2014 World Cup with Germany. Like all world-class players, Hummels has had to evolve over the course of his glittering career, playing under managers with different philosophies and alongside teammates with different strengths, he has consistently adapted his game to succeed no matter the environment. Hummels came through Bayern München's academy and starred for their reserve team before making his first team debut in 2007. Soon after that, he moved to Borussia Dortmund, where he thrived under the guidance of Jurgen Klopp in one of the most exciting, tactically innovative teams seen in recent decades. Klopp implemented an intense, high-pressing game that opponents struggled to handle. Whenever the opposition built out from the back, Dortmund would apply pressure from the front and force long balls. Hummels, standing at 6 foot 4 inches, would use his height and physicality to win the resulting aerial duels and help to pen the opposition in their own half. He played as the left centre-back in Klopp's back four, partnering Nevin Subotic in a defensive line full of youth, hunger and enthusiasm. These qualities were integral to Klopp's famous Gagan pressing, which saw Dortmund press instantly whenever they lost the ball. In these transitions, Hummels combined his exceptional anticipation with aggression to close down opponents and force quick turnovers through tackles, pressures or interceptions. Thomas Tuchel succeeded Klopp as Dortmund coach in 2014 and focused on refining the team's possession game whilst maintaining their hugely entertaining and effective pressing approach. Hummels, who had already firmly established himself as one of the finest central defenders in the world, would prove key to his new coach's plans. Tuchel brought with him a positional attacking style that wasn't fundamentally dissimilar to what Pep Guardiola had implemented so brilliantly at Bayern. This style required good off-the-ball movement and rotations between attacking players, as well as accurate and penetrative passing from the defenders. Hummels was perfect for the new approach, with his ball-playing capabilities coming to the fore. At times, Tuchel's Dortmund would form a temporary back three in order to give themselves numerical superiority when building possession from the back. In these situations, Hummels would move wider towards the left-hand side. This gave him more space, which, as a player who's always had a knack for identifying and driving into gaps in opposition defences, he was happy to utilise. With more responsibility in building possession, Hummels demonstrated his superb range of passing to enhance Dortmund's attack. He could play long diagonals to the far side, balls over the top with the outside of his boot, or passes with right or left foot through multiple lines of defence to strikers. If the opposition pushed up, he could evade the pressure with a pass into the opening space. If the opposition sat off, he could dribble forwards to commit defenders and create a free man. Now, Hummel's time with Tuchel gave him more experience of playing in a team that dominated possession of the ball. This was good preparation for his move to Bayern München in 2016, a transfer motivated by his desire to compete for and win major silverware every season. Joining the reigning Bundesliga champions in a time of transition, with Carlo Ancelotti arriving as coach that same summer, Hummels brought stability to Bayern's defence. He was reunited with 2014 World Cup winning centre-back partner Jerome Boateng, though he also played alongside having Martinez or Nicolas Sula. In Boateng's absence through injury, Hummels became Bayern's primary playmaking central defender, with his invaluable ability to break the lines and find the forwards with a single pass. After winning three Bundesliga titles, one DFB Cup and three German Super Cups, Hummels returned to Dortmund in the summer transfer window of 2019, rejoining the club where he first established himself as a central defensive superstar. Now coached by Lucien Favre, Dortmund are more focused on keeping an extremely compact defensive shape and reducing space between the lines for opponents to take advantage of. There is less onus on Hummels to assert his physicality as part of a high press, and with Julian Weigl dropping back into defence, he can also share playmaking responsibilities when building possession. At 30 years old, Hummels brings important and unique qualities to Favre's defensive line. His experience, decision-making and organisational skills, honed throughout his time as captain of the club during his first spell, will help to guide the younger players around him. Now, the average age of his three main central defensive partners, Weigl, Manuel Akanji and Dan Axel Zagadou, is 22.7 years old. Hummel's composure, reading of the game and winning mentality will only aid his teammates when it comes to keeping clean sheets, while his aerial prowess also adds to Dortmund's threat from set pieces. 
Mats Hummels has developed from solid prospect to elite all-round centre-back and serial winner. Now back where his career first took off, he can bolster Dortmund's chances of Bundesliga success in the present while helping to nurture the next generation. Hello, I'm a YouTube end card. Don't leave us now. Please click here to subscribe and here to watch another great video. This is your home of Bundesliga. Subscribe now.